Hey man, if y'all are dads out here, make sure y'all take care of your kids. Where the dads at? Shout out to dads, yeah. There we go. The real dads. The real dads. Not those sperm donor ass niggas that just shoot up clubs and dip out. Right? I can't stand those type of dudes. They give the rest of us a bad name. Listen, if you out here in this audience right now, and you are a dad and you ain't seen your kids, go pick them up. Go pick your kids up. I don't care if it's every other weekend, one weekend a month, Tuesday evening for a couple hours, pick up your kids for two reasons. One, if not, that you need to be spending that time with them, but also, mama needs a life too, and I'm trying to give her some. So go pick up your kids. Go pick up your kids. Any single moms in the house? Any single moms in the house? Single mom? Okay, just one? All right, you hollering me out the words. I, hey, hey, I don't think nothing but single moms. I'll tell you that right now. Single moms is my thing. Yo, shout out to the single moms. You, you know why that is though? I'll tell you why that is. I feel like, I feel like single moms, you know what I'm saying? They got, they got priorities, right? They're responsible. They got their shit together. Right? Cause single moms, they'll sneak you in, get you some, and get you out right before the kids get up. They gotta get ready for school. I like that. In and out. Plus, they got the best snacks. Let me tell you something, single moms. I'm in your cabinets. I'm in your cabinets. All the, all the jelly snacks, all the animal crackers, and you better not be making your kids lunch at nighttime. Tell you something, they gonna learn about the sandwich fairy. They gonna get mad at me. All the lunch is gone in the morning. But it's hard sometimes, man. It's hard dating women with kids. Let me say, let me tell you this. Women with kids, if you're in the dating world, if a guy texts you and asks you when you free, he really just asks him when you ain't got your kids. When are their dad picking them up? Send them to grandma's house, something. Shoot, man. Because that's the thing. The hard part is, right, once you, if you've dated enough single, you know, single moms, you're with one long enough, eventually, you know, you become a stepdad. Now, here's the thing. Stepdads, any stepdads in the house? Where are the stepdads? Stepdads? Yo, shout out to those guys, man. Shout out to stepdads. Big up to stepdads. Let's give a round of applause for them. Let's give a round of applause for them. Because those guys don't get enough credit. Right? Let me tell you something. Stepdad, if, if being a father is as unappreciated as it is, being a stepfather is twice as hard. Right? Because you got to give it up to those guys. Because you got to think about it. They stood up and took responsibility for somebody else's AIDS. They didn't have to do that. They basically transferred secondhand AIDS and didn't have to do it. You got to give it up to those guys, man. But here's the thing, right? Now, what I really hate, I hate those, those stepdads who are like, oh, I love my stepkids like my real kids. Bullshit. Impossible. It's really impossible. It's no way that you can love your real kids and your stepkids the same. A couple reasons, right? Now, let me caveat this by saying, I don't mean you meet a woman, she has a baby baby, and then you gotta grow with it and it's called your dad, and then you're just a dad, right? Not that. I mean, when you meet a kid that's like eight, nine, ten, and up, you basically just a dude trying to fuck his mom. He can't have that. There's no way that y'all love each other because he can't stand you. You ever try to have sex with a single mom with her kids around? It's like they can smell the pheromone. Try to sneak in at night, think you're doing something, sneak past kids' room, he's in bed with his blanket. As soon as you get in the room, get the clothes off. <sighs> Motherfucker bust in the room. What y'all doing? I mean, can I have some milk? Get your little ass out of here. It's hard. Can't love your stepkids and your real kids the same. Look, I'm, I'm, okay, y'all think I'm bullshitting with this, right? I'm gonna give you a scenario. I'm gonna give you a scenario that proves you can't love your stepkids and real kids the same. Let me give you a scenario, right? It's Saturday, 
in late August. School starts on Monday. Monday is the first day of school, right? And you have your son and you have your stepson, right? So it's Saturday, you gotta take both of them to get their hair cut, right? And as a man, as you normally do, you procrastinate it, so it's 4.30, uh, and the barbershop closes in 30 minutes. You get there, you realize you got $20 in your pocket, and you forgot your wallet. That's enough for one haircut. Who you think getting that haircut? It ain't your stepson, I tell you that much. You th listen, you think I'm about to send my real son home to his real mama with no haircut before school? Out your goddamn mind. I've never heard of you, does it? And I don't care if my stepson's hair line is down to his eyebrows, he looks like any monster. He ain't getting that haircut. I'm sorry. Look, I gotta look at him and be like, hey man, um, he gonna get this haircut. I don't know what to tell you, man. Like, your dad child support check ain't come in. So listen, kind of just is what it is, man. It is what it is.